Are you building a web application and wondering about the best way to secure it? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into the world of JSON web tokens and IP address security. I understand how crucial security is, especially when dealing with sensitive information. Many developers share your concerns about token theft and session security. Let's look at a specific scenario. One user is building a web application using Angular 2 and ASP.NET Core Web API. They want to use JSON web tokens stored in a secure HTTP-only cookie and are considering capturing the user's IP address for added security. They have two main questions. Is this extra level of security worth it? And will there be any problems with the IP check they are thinking of using? So, what are the implications of using IP addresses for security? While it can add a layer of protection, it also comes with challenges, especially with dynamic IP addresses that many users have. Stay tuned, because at the end, I will share a practical solution that can help you balance security and user experience. To enhance security with JSON web tokens, the user should first capture the user's IP address during the initial login. This can be done by accessing the request object in the backend. Next, the user should store this IP address alongside the JWT token in the database. This way, it can be referenced later during subsequent requests. On each request after the initial login, the user needs to compare the current IP address with the stored IP address. If they differ, the token should be revoked. Finally, the user should consider providing an option for users to opt in for IP address validation during login. This allows users to choose between higher security and session stability. Fun fact, did you know that most home users have dynamic IP addresses? This means their IP can change without notice, which can complicate security measures. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggests using JWT with IP address validation. When a user logs in, capture their IP address for the session. Each time they log in, validate that the token is being used from the original IP. If a different IP is detected, require revalidation and issue a new token. This method combines the IP address, JWT, and password for secure login. For mobile apps, securely cache the user ID and password to automatically resend them if the IP changes, ensuring the JWT remains secure when using SSL. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach suggests enhancing security by using asymmetric encryption. When a user logs in, the server sends a public key along with the JWT and user information. The client then encrypts any sensitive data using this public key before sending it back to the server with each request. If any data changes or if there's a significant clock discrepancy, the server can revoke access. This method aims for secure communication, similar to what HTTPS provides. Here's a pro tip. Regularly review your security measures and user feedback. This will help you adapt your approach as needed and keep your application secure. And there you have it. By understanding the nuances of JWT security and IP address validation, you can create a more secure application. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more insights and tips.